Good evening and welcome to the Henry Schein Dental Academy webinar series. I'm Dr. Gary Severance with Henry Schein and I'll be your moderator. Tonight's webinar is Tips, Tools, and Best Practices to Communicate Payment Options for Patients, sponsored by Care Credit. Please be aware that Henry Schein is not offering CE credit for viewing or attending this webinar. This webinar is also brought to you by Henry Schein's Dental Business Institute in partnership with Henry Schein One and Jameson Management. Before I turn it over to our speakers, I wanted to provide some perspective on the subject itself, patient financing and care credit. You all know that treatment costs can be one of the top barriers to case acceptance. Having care credit as a financing solution can help increase acceptance of your recommended treatment plan. Currently, there are over 12 million care credit card holders and another 203,000 new accounts approved each month. And 89% of care credit card holders surveyed said they are likely or very likely to use their care credit again and letting all patients know the options for payment before, during, and after their appointment can help them focus on care, not cost. And finally, when you can, integrate payment options into your entire management system. Financial conversations are easier and much more effective then. I'm joined this evening by Laurel Lubin, Senior Sales Trainer for Henry Schein One, and Carrie Weber, Chief Communications Officer and Co-Owner of Jamison Management. Laura will first share how Henry Schein has helped thousands of practices by combining practice management, marketing, and patient engagement solutions into one connected management system to help you improve every aspect of your business. Then Carrie, will share tips on how they, Jamison Management, have successfully helped practices over the past 30 years to improve patient communication and achieve practice growth. Now, if anyone has questions, please type them into the Q&A section and we will reply via email within two business days. With that, I'll turn it over and welcome Laurel and Carrie. At Henry Shine One, we've helped thousands of practices combine their practice management software with marketing and patient engagement solutions that really help to create efficiencies in their offices to improve every aspect of their business. And we know that when technology works as one, your team can now work smarter and faster while improving every step of that patient experience from the patient acquisition to the patient follow-up and loyalty. And one of the keys to that is automating mundane tasks. We know that when we free up the office from those tasks, we help them to concentrate on more productive activities and provide more time to spend with their patients that really helps to create those strong relationships which leads to that patient retention. So today I'll discuss how you can leverage your practice management software and your marketing and patient engagement solutions to the fullest to really reduce that financial barrier and to help more patients return to your practice and say yes to their recommended treatment. We all know that we faced some challenges recently in providing safe, and efficient solutions is extremely important. A care credit custom link provides exceptional benefits to both the patient and to the practice. One link, which can be customized with your practice name, takes them directly to financing and provides that easy to use navigation. So let's start at the beginning of that patient journey. It all starts with marketing and patient acquisition. It's important now more than ever for those practices to have a premium online presence and to build their online presence. As studies have shown that 80 to 90% of consumers are going to choose their services or their providers based on the online reputation of that business. And 90 plus percent of those searches begin with a Google search. So it's really important to build your positive reputation and to be found in those top searches. 
because we know that less than 10% of people search past that first page of results. And additionally, 60% of people are searching on a mobile device. Have you ever searched for a website on your phone and you couldn't navigate it properly? You couldn't find the right buttons. You couldn't find the right links. Well, that's because it wasn't a mobile optimized site. You need to have an optimized custom practice website for your practice, like Henry Schein One's office site can provide. So that when your patient is searching for affordable dental care and you've had your office site website customized with search engine optimization and specific keywords, it's going to help them find your practice. And Care Credit has sample copy that you can add to your website and they can provide that custom link so that they can learn more and they can quickly and easily see if they qualify for benefits, making them more likely to schedule an appointment. And when you use an online booking link directly connected to your practice management software, um, they're now able to actually get pre-approved, book that appointment, all from those customized links and widgets on your office site website. And you can even add features like live chat to answer questions, keep the patient engaged, and then fully utilize social media links by adding this care credit custom link to your social media accounts like Facebook and Twitter, making it really easy for the patients to see that you offer this option, but also making it really easy for them to follow this custom link and to apply. And now that we've attracted those new patients, it's really important to keep them with ongoing patient engagement because we know on average, one to three patients are leaving their current dentist annually so it's important to keep them engaged with marketing campaigns, to build loyalty, to offer them education and solutions. And Henry Schein One's practice management patient engaged service streamlines that process for your office with customized recare and appointment reminders, as well as marketing communications to build that patient loyalty, prevent those holes or those gaps in your schedule. And including a care credit custom link on your patient engage email communications is going to allow your patients to learn more about their options to apply for credit or to even pay with care credit when they have an account directly through that link. And the earlier the patients know that they have options, the more likely they are to keep that appointment or accept recommended treatment. So how does the patient benefit from this care credit link? Well, it allows them to have private access from anywhere inside their home, inside your office, or even if they're at an outside location waiting for their appointment. It increases the safety because we all know that we're concerned about that today by providing that secure contactless financing experience. And it eliminates the need to pass paper forms or a card back and forth and patients can receive an immediate credit decision and it allows for that same day payment if they're approved for credit. So now how does the provider benefit from that care credit custom link? Well, the time savings of allowing the team to share financing options with their patients without taking away the time from those important care focused conversations. It really streamlines that process. It eliminates the need to retain those paper applications and also to collect sensitive personal information. You know, we discussed the benefits of adding that link to our office site websites and to our patient engaged marketing communications, but we can also use these links to help improve the revenue cycle management in our office. So adding this custom link to statements so that when they do have a balance, or if they're considering additional treatment, they can easily follow that link to apply or to pay with care credit. This can really help to reduce your accounts receivable and really help those patients return for more needed care. So leveraging your practice management software to its fullest is really important. And many offices don't even realize the features that they have available to them, including the care credit integration with Dentrix and Easy Dental.
The integration of Care Credit with Dentrix and Easy Dental has provided our dental offices with a connected solution to really improve that patient journey and to expedite that financing process. We've now made it much easier to transact. All Care Credit transactions can easily be processed right from your software, from the ledger payment window, and they're going to automatically write back to your ledger. So how much time could this save in reconciling records when we don't have to log into a separate portal with a separate username and password to process that transaction and then go back and post the payment to the patient's ledger? We've made it much easier to apply. Very easily, patient information can be transferred from your software to the care credit application, eliminating that double entry. All we have to do is simply type in a few fields, click submit, and they receive a credit decision within seconds. But now also it's much easier to access and utilize this quick screen. This is a really great way to maximize the tools that you already have in your software with the care credit integration. We can be proactive with patients that are going to be presented with a treatment plan to see if they already have a care credit account or if they've been pre-approved. Being proactive is always, versus reactive, is always that best approach. However, sometimes we have patients with existing treatment plans and we're utilizing our unscheduled treatment plan reports. We find patients who we haven't scheduled, their needed treatment. We can use this quick screen to see if we can help alleviate any of those financial concerns that may be preventing them from moving forward with their oral care. This connected solution will create those important office efficiencies while providing patients with solutions that will alleviate their financial concerns. I'll turn it over to Carrie to discuss once you gathered this information, how to approach those conversations with patients. Well, thank you so much, Laurel, for that great information. And I don't know about everyone else, but I was certainly taking some notes on how all of the great resources that Henry Shine One brings to the table, including their integrations with Care Credit, can make your lives easier. If you're watching this presentation, more than likely you play a role, you play a part in the ongoing conversation with your patients about their care. I want to invite you to grab a screenshot right here of these ways to easily access more information if you're on Dentrix or Easy Dental about how this integration works for you. Uh, that makes it easy for you to get on your phone right now, take a shot, and, and see for yourself how you can maximize these tools you already more than likely have in your practice to the best of their ability for your ongoing relationships with your patients. As Laurel said, we want to be proactive in the work that we do in preparing as best as possible for these conversations with our patients. We at Jameson, I'm one of the owners of Jameson alongside my husband, Jess, and we have loved the services of Henry Shine One and Care Credit for many, many years. And I can attest from our own work in my father's practice when he was practicing dentistry in our ongoing beta practice that we partner with now and the practices we work with as clients across the country. The utilization of these tools and maximization of these tools help you bring the best possible solutions to the table. And what we need to understand is it all revolves around this the power of communication with your patients. We can take all of these tools in our toolbox and we can build what we at Jameson consider pillars in our partnership with our patients from today moving on into the future. We ultimately want to be building trust with them that the, what we are recommending and what we are bringing to the table for their ongoing health and wellness is indeed the right way forward for them. Having that trusting relationship to help them see the value of the care we're recommending and the value we provide, to help them see the need for what we are recommending and to have greater understanding so that they see that urgency to move forward with the care that they want or need. In the end, if we are moving forward and intentionally communicating in a successful and effective way, we build loyalty with our patient family. And in the end, that's what we want, right? 
we know if our patients are not saying yes to treatment and walking out the door without moving forward with treatment that they ultimately need or want, everyone loses. And we want to help them move forward with the treatment that's going to help them achieve their goals for their mouths, their teeth, and their smiles, right? So what we want to talk about today is how do I, in my role in this practice, in these conversations with our patients, how do I help them say yes to the very best, to what they need, to what they want, to what we're recommending? It's important to understand the tools that Laurel's talking about, the tools that we're introducing today, both from Henry Shine One, as well as with Care Credit, are important tools for you because I know for you, time is important. Time is also important for our patients. We also know that cost is the number one reason why they're not moving forward with treatment. And so it's important for us to know in our role that we need to be what I call the three P's. <laughs> we want to be prepared. We want to be proactive and we want to be professional. Something that I say when I'm speaking on case presentation or if I'm speaking on customer service is that great customer service answers this question in your practice. How easy do we make it for the patients to achieve what it, whatever it is they want? How easy are we making it, just as Laurel said, for them to find us online? How easy are we making it for them to schedule appointments? How easy are we making it for them to achieve the type of dentistry they're looking for or that they ultimately need to get healthy? And that's what these tools can help to do. Also, from these organizations, they're providing great customer service for you. Because if time is an obstacle for you, we want to make your ability to be prepared proactively as easy and efficient as possible. By having all of these integrations in your practice management software, this allows you to do things more quickly, more intentionally, and as Laurel said, more proactively. We want to tie that together with professional verbal skills. Remember, by, by being prepared, by doing some work on the front end, before you even have these conversations with the patients, you are providing excellent customer service. You're providing something that, that makes them feel important. You've done work. <laughs> You've been thinking on their behalf. You are advocating for them. You are partnering with them to find solutions for their needs. And they will appreciate that, I can promise you. So let's reflect on what Laurel mentioned, the, the, the quick screen service. I think this is incredible. Um, I'm a big fan of Care Credit's quick screen service because here's what this does for you. Something we often hear, and maybe you feel this for yourself sometimes, is we are afraid to bring this up out of fear if you've ever had that where perhaps they weren't, they weren't approved by Care Credit, right? And just the fear of what if is preventing this from being a key solution for your patients. Now at Jameson, we believe we want to present the best possible treatment for that particular patient's wants or needs. We want to provide the, to them a variety of options for them to financially take care of that procedure. And then we want to get out of the way and let the patients say yes to the very best. Remember, assumption is the lowest form of communication. So if we're assuming on the behalf of the patient what the way they want to pay for treatment or the way that they can or cannot pay for treatment, then we are assuming incorrectly for them. If we're appropriately partnering with our patients, we are communicating together, giving them a variety of options and allowing them to take the way that feels best to them. By having this quick screen, you're allowing yourself to do quick checks on the patients that are coming in that day or that you're preparing for presentations on. And it's a, it's a soft touch on the patient. It doesn't impact their credit score. And it allows you to be prepared and confident that this is indeed an, a viable option for them to move forward with treatment. We don't want to avoid this. You know, in my father's practice, care credit, patient financing, these types of options were important for him to help his patients. More and more and more patients, the more he had this accessible to them, were using this as the way that they saw their treatment move forward and become a reality for them. And so we wanna make sure we're getting out of the way of our patients, giving them a variety of tools to make the right decision for themselves so they can indeed say yes to the very best. I encourage you to look at this quick, this quick screen service for yourself and see how it can be a part of your planning process in preparing and being proactive. And that allows you when you're talking to your patients to say, 
Mrs. Jones, I have done a lot of work before we even gathered here to make sure that we could have as many options as possible for you to choose from and how you'd like to move forward with your treatment. May I show you what's available to you? And you don't have to worry because you've done this, this quick check that allows you to know indeed what's available to your patients. Now, while this doesn't eliminate the need to formally apply, it does give you confidence in stepping into that conversation, feeling more prepared and aware of what your patients can utilize from your practice. So remember, we wanna be proactive, we wanna be prepared, and we want to be professional. As your patients, when we know that cost is the number one obstacle to care, we have to prepare and practice our role skills on how we're presenting to our patients. We have to be confident in this, everyone. And what that does is helps you step into these with, with more passion, with more confidence, with a, a sense that I am here for you. I'm ready to lean into this conversation and help do whatever I can from our side as the practice to partner with you, Mr. or Mrs. Patient, to help you get healthy. Using the payment calculator is another great tool, I believe, that Care Credit has available. This is something you can access through the provider portal on the Care Credit website. And what this does is it really gives you, as the treatment coordinator, financial coordinator, whatever the case may be, that, that visual support with the patients to pull this up and walk through if the financing of the treatment is the highest concern for them. We need to be actively listening to these patients on how they would prefer to take care of the treatment. Mrs. Jones, it sounds like you do indeed want to move forward with this type of care. It is what you're looking for and, you, and it would indeed meet your goals. Is that correct? Yes, yes, it is. Um, but I just don't know how I'm going to pay for it. You know, you can hear how this, these conversations happen in a practice. So it's the, it's the investment for the care that's your, that's your primary concern. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes. So tell me, Mrs. Jones, is it the, to the total investment as a whole that's concerning to you or being able to fit it into your family's monthly budget? Well, I guess it's probably the monthly budget, right? And say, oh, well, this, this is great. If we, were to able, if we were able to help you find a way to fit it comfortably into your monthly budget, would you like to explore that with me? Yes. And so by pulling up this, you, know, you can use this visual tool to show them what their investment would ultimately be if they chose a care credit way forward. And what I, I want you to understand is we as human beings, are for the majority visual learners. That's why using photography in treatment presentations is so impactful. Before and afters are so important for us to utilize. That is so important for patient education and understanding of what's happening in their mouths. Well, by using these visual tools for you, you can break down those investments in a way that's, that's more attainable for the patient, for them to see for themselves what that investment could be broken down into for them to make it comfortable. We at Jameson don't want you to be in the banking business. We want you to have tools available to help your patients move forward with treatment in the way that's most comfortable for them. And we want you to feel prepared as best as possible in how to guide them through that and partner with them to find the right solution. As I said before, it takes practice. You need to be role playing as a team those difficult conversations that perhaps you're getting stuck in that you don't know how to navigate. The more that we practice with each other, the more, more prepared we are going to be and more comfortable we're going to be in those real life moments with our patients so that those conversations go more smoothly every single time. And by preparing and understanding the tools that we have at hand through your practice management software, through your patient financing companies, this is going to help you feel ready to take on these conversations and help those patients because you prepared and you're bringing an elevated level of customer service to every patient interaction. And that is going to be very meaningful to them. And I will also ensure you, your case acceptance will improve. Now, I wanna encourage you to reach out to the tools, the resources, the companies you're already engaged in, like Care Credit, like Henry Shine One, if you feel like you're not maximizing these tools, if we talked about something that you weren't even aware of or, or aren't comfortable with, reach out to your representatives and get some additional support and training. That's what they're there for. 
You can text integration to this number on the screen, 714-492-1120, and you can put in a request to be contacted by your care credit team, or you can find them online or call them. And I encourage you to do so because what I often find and what I often encourage to practices is, hey, the first step to becoming better is to look at what we already have and improve our utilization of those tools. If we just turn up the knob just a little bit, imagine the improvements that that could have on the productivity, the profitability, and the ultimate fulfillment you have in your practices. Thank you very much for the valuable and comprehensive information. And we actually have a few questions for you. Carrie, what are your thoughts on who generally is the best person to discuss cost and financial arrangements with patients? We are huge advocates and fans of a treatment coordinator in a practice. We believe having a treatment coordinator supporting a doctor's recommended treatment really allows you to partner for the patient's ultimate success. But in the end, what the person we want talking about fees or the investment is the person that's best at that. So it's up to the practice to determine who indeed um, is the best and the most comfortable with talking about fees and what the investment would be and what we have available as resources and tools for our patients. If that's the doctor, then great. More often than not, we find it is a treatment coordinator or a person on the team that has clin clinical understanding that can answer clinical questions, but also has a clear understanding of the financial options you have in your practice. They're confident in quoting total fees. They're confident in continuing those conversations all the way through to getting a financial arrangement in place and scheduling that appointment. They're ultimately great listeners and communicators, and they have a passion and a sense of value for the work that you do as a practice. That's why a treatment coordinator can be such a successful position and role in your dental practice. Laurel, you mentioned reports with Dentrix. What are some common reports that we should review regularly? And I get that question a lot from our um, existing customers. And obviously, as we're trying to make sure that our patients are getting the care that they need, we want to use our unscheduled treatment plan reports like we used to make sure patients who we've recommended treatment to who need this care um, to be able to go back, use our quick screen to once we find those patients to check on the benefits to make the before we make those calls to them to talk about the options they may have, as well as on a daily basis, we can look at our daily huddle report. I think the daily huddle report is a great tool for offices so that they can see the patients that are coming in today, the treatment they may be coming in for, take a look to see if we've made any financial arrangements for them. If not, to be able to, again, use that quick screen to pull up whether they may be eligible for benefits, because as we're having those discussions, trying to eliminate the financial concerns and just be able to have those care concerns addressed, um, finding out not just the patients who are coming in for treatment, but maybe the patients who have existing balances, that we can help them to take care of those existing balances, to move on with further treatment. As well as, you know, again, we talked about being proactive versus reactive, but, you know, sometimes we have to be reactive. Sometimes we have to go to our aging reports, find the patients who might have significant balances that haven't been able to make payments and to be able to use our quick screen to find out if maybe they are eligible for credit. Maybe we can alleviate this burden from them and we can help to improve our accounts receivable as well. And Carrie, when discussing with patients, how do you know if cost is a barrier or what sign should we look for? More than likely, people listening today are probably saying, well, I know immediately when cost is a barrier. They're not afraid to let me know. <laughs> but what I need you to understand as practices is how important your ability to ask questions and listen is. Remember how I was talking about communication skills and how important that is in, in navigating these conversations because we want to make sure we are hearing from the patients what their goals are, what their obstacles are, and when we're partnering with them in a safe space where they feel they have permission to share, we're going to gather all of the information we need to know 
to make sure we're planning the appropriate way forward with them. So it's important when you're going through case presentation, treatment consultations, financial conversations, that we leave room to ask questions and listen and giving that patient room to share their concerns. We want to make sure we're establishing the need through that treatment consultation. We want to make sure the patient is crystal clear on what the doctor is recommending. And then we need to be asking questions to help us move forward into the next stages of the conversation, which would be the financial responsibility. Questions like, Mrs. Jones, is this indeed the type of care that you would like to receive? Yes. Then do you see any reason why we couldn't go ahead and make the arrangements necessary and schedule this first appointment? More than likely, if we ask questions like this, they're going to bring up what is their primary concerns. Well, doc, I mean, I just need to know how much this is going to cost. I mean, good gosh, it's going to probably cost me a fortune. So we need to make sure we're opening up that space and then we're comfortable to actively listen. So it sounds like you do want this type of care, but you're concerned about what the investment may be for you to receive it. Is that right? Yes. Okay, great. Well, I can certainly appreciate that. I wanna make sure that you don't have any further questions about the clinical aspect of this care. Uh, and if not, then I wanna go ahead and give Laurel, the opportunity to, to go through with you what the financial responsibility is and to show you that we have many options available for you to make this a comfortable investment for you and so that we can go ahead and get started in getting you healthy. Would that be all right with you? Yes. Okay. So as you can see, we need to make sure we're comfortable in asking questions, then actively listening and feeding back what indeed their top concerns are and then give them a way forward in the solutions that they also agree upon, partnering with them through the conversation so they feel heard and that we make sure message sent is message received and we're working together for a solution. And finally, Laurel, here are another one for you. We haven't updated our Dentrix for a long time. What versions of Dentrix do we need to use Care Credit? To really maximize your integration between your Dentrix and your Care Credit, you really need to be on Dentrix version 7.1 or higher. It's really important to know that keeping your software up to date is very, very important inside of an office because you're getting all of the current information. Not only are you getting like all of the current CBT codes and those descriptions, but you're also going to be maximizing all of the new features that have come out, as well as keeping your office compliant with having up-to-date security patches that have been that have been put into there. But so it's really, really important that you update your software, that you keep it current, as long as you're maintaining your customer support plan, which you should have anyway, because it's so important to be able to. If you have a question, to be able to pick up the phone, to make that call, to use a click to chat, to get a quick answer, to take advantage of all the tools that a customer support plan offers, it's really important that as part of that plan, you automatically get all of those updates. So there's no reason for you not to keep your software updated to the latest and most current version. Thank you, ladies, for a great presentation tonight and for you attending. Please let us know if you have any feedback, questions, or ideas for future webinars by contacting us at webinars at henryshine.com. And for more Henry Schein webinars, visit henryshinedental.com slash webinars for our upcoming schedule. Thank you all for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you back here soon. Have a wonderful night.